What's up, everybody? How we doing today? Figure I got 20 minutes to jump in here, catch up with y'all. It's been a while. I don't know. Instagram suspended me from doing lives for like, I want to say five weeks. I have no idea why either. But I'm back, baby. What's up, everyone? Where y'all joining from? Let me know what, what city you're in. I know we're going to have people from around the world, which I love. I love seeing a bunch of international people joining in the call, stateside people joining in the call. So I love to see. It's day 75. Yeah, I'm on day 46 today. And don't get it twisted. This has been a challenging journey for me, uh, especially the last 10 days. You know, I went to Canada last week um, and it was just tough. You know, I spent nine or 10 hours with our inner circle members on those days. So I was like at their office at 7.30 in the morning. We didn't leave till, you know, five in the afternoon. And then afterwards they hosted like a mastermind event at one of their homes. So like it was tough to squeeze everything in, but I've been accountable and I thank all of you for that, right? Because a lot of my accountability has come through pushing it to social media and letting everybody know, hey, this is what I'm doing. So when I wake up in the morning, I know that even if I'm not feeling it, I don't wanna work out, I don't wanna chug that gallon of water, I don't wanna read for 30 minutes, whatever the case may be, I remember all of y'all, and I, it just motivates me that much more to complete it. So I appreciate y'all for being a part of this journey with me. You know, I just wanna jump in here and basically provide hell of value to the next 15 or so. best way to begin using private carriers uh, so Caleb yeah we recommend using a broker like CH Robinson unit shippers and then when you're selecting your shipment through Amazon you would select other for LTL I never suggest using a private carrier for or even going direct to you know FedEx or UPS or USPS for SPD shipments SPD shipments should be scheduled directly through Amazon Seller Central. Um, but for LTL shipments, FTL shipments, I highly recommend not using Amazon Partner Carrier for a few reasons. The first reason is just yesterday I was talking with somebody and they sent me a message on Instagram and said Amazon lost a $20,000 shipment of theirs, right? And Amazon's known to do that. They've lost our inventory in the past. So I'd rather circumnavigate the Amazon ha hustle or hassle and just schedule my own partner carrier, right? Get some insurance on the shipment if you're a little concerned. If you've never worked with them before, it'll cost you an extra hundred bucks for a couple of pallets, no big deal. And then you're protected. Also, about two years ago when we made the full switch from using Amazon partner carrier to non-partner carrier, uh, we realized that Amazon, what they were doing, they were taking those big prime trucks that you see on the road. They were picking up our full truck loads. They were bringing them to their fulfillment center, but because they own the truck, they would leave it in their parking lot for three weeks and not our unload our inventory. So I was missing out on three weeks of sales, you know, and this is going to sound like crazy math, but let's say you send a shipment a week. If you're waiting three weeks to receive, for that inventory to receive, you're missing massive amounts of sales through missed days of available inventory, fulfillable inventory. It's just not there. It's not there for the customer to buy it. And if it's sitting in a truck, it's not making me money. And if it's not making me money, I'm not able to reinvest that money into more profitable inventory. So yeah, brokers, CA Travis and unit shippers to schedule LTL. Um, and that's something we cover in thorough detail inside eSellers RI as well. Hi from Miami. Thank you, Eric. I started 10 months ago. I'm at $400,000 in sales. That's huge. Addy, that is impressive. That is very impressive. Congratulations on that. You know, I, uh, it doesn't surprise me either because Amazon's such a beast. It's such a machine. The opportunity to literally print money is crazy. So congratulations on that. It makes me so happy for you. It really does. It really does because you know, whatever life you were living has absolutely been revolutionized and changed. And you're just getting started. You said, when did you start? 10 months ago? 10 months ago. So 10 months ago, you built a business from zero to $400,000. Imagine what you're going to do in the next 10 months. There's no reason you can't be pumping out two milli. You know, at, at, let's even say low 8% net margins. You know, that's low too. You're talking a nice chunk of change back in your pocket. That's more, that's, 
a, a healthy six figure salary from literally selling products on the internet. It's crazy. I'm using some wholesalers, a price comparison website, i.e. So I can play them against each other on prices. Is this normal practices? Yeah, we do that. So I'll send, you know, supplier A and I'll be like, hey, supplier B just told me they got the same product as you, but for 25 cents cheaper. Can you match that or beat that? Because if you, I would, I prefer to buy it from you, you know, I like you more. So if you could beat that price, I'll buy the thousand units from you instead. So we absolutely do that. And sometimes what that looks like is submitting two orders um, in one email. You know, and letting them know like, hey, this is the order I would place at the current prices you're sending them to me in. And then this is the much larger 5X order I could place with my negotiated discounts. And then it kind of lights a fire under their butt and they're like, wow, like this company's serious. You know, I shared yesterday on, uh, I think it's, I don't know how to ingrain it any harder in people's minds, but I feel like and this isn't directed to anybody at all, this is just a blanket statement, but I feel like we're not, as Amazon business owners, we're not doing enough um, as far as the relationship aspect and getting yourself out there. You know, your business will only grow so much when you sit behind a computer all day. Like you gotta get out there, you gotta be a part of the industry, you gotta immerse yourself in the industry. That's why you literally see me all over the country at all these events, meeting with new people because it's important to me. It's one of the main reasons why we are where we are, you know, which is a top 30, top 20 or 30 Amazon seller in the United States. Like we, we got there, we stay there. It's one thing to get there, right? It's not like we got there and we fall off, fell off, right? It's not like we broke the top 100 Amazon sellers in the country and then we, we went to 200 and then we fought our way back to 100. It's like, no, we've been in the top 100 for like four and a half years. You know, we're not going anywhere. Our business is continuing to grow and continuing to thrive because we innovate and we're at these events and I'm meeting with these people who could potentially change my whole mindset. That's what it's about. Most people think selling on Amazon is all about understanding Amazon, which don't get it twisted. A lot of it is, but also a large percent of it is making the mental shift that needs to happen internally to view things differently that will allow you to elevate to the next level. That's the exact reason I created Inner Circle, right? I created Inner Circle because I wanna be surrounded by some of the best minds in the industry. So what better way to do that than to create a program where you have to be a seven figure sell seller to participate in it, right? And the information shared, like tonight at nine o'clock in, in 19 minutes, we have an Inner Circle call which I'm super excited about because I know there's gonna be a ton of information shared in this inner circle call because we have 35 or 40 of some of the largest Amazon wholesale businesses in it, right? So don't get me wrong, I love the eSellers or I weekly calls, you know, but a lot of that is like the fundamental basic questions. You know, these inner circle calls because it's only seven and eight figure Amazon sellers, these calls are much more advanced. Right, and that's really where I get to grow and these inner circle businesses get to grow because they have access to us and to these other larger sellers so we can bounce ideas off of each other, really get the juices flowing so we can elevate to that level that we need to be at because you don't know what you don't know. And the only way to know what you don't know is to find somebody who knows what you don't know and they can share it with you and now what you didn't know becomes something you do know and you're able to implement it. It's a game changer. It's an absolute game changer. It's the same reason I invest, you know, over $80,000 into a single mentorship that I join annually. You know, between the mentorship and travel, you're looking at six figure investment, but I do it every year because it helps me elevate this. And I got a quick story for you. So recently joined a mastermind, right? The mastermind was $50,000. For, for an annual membership to this mastermind, right? And initially, I, I was like, you know, I don't know about this, I don't know, but Sebastian's like, let's do it, let's do it, bro. And that it wasn't the first mastermind I invested, I invested in others. You know, I was just hesitant on this one because it was a weird time in my life. I was very busy, I had a lot going on, right? So we pay the 50K, we get on the phone call with the gentleman who we signed up with, and literally within that hour phone call, if I never spoke to that man again, 
right? If I never had any other assets or resources from joining that mastermind for $50,000, I got my $50,000 in value in that first one hour phone call, right? But here's the disconnect. Most people aren't willing to make the investment into something like that to even know what exists inside. So they'll look from without, from outside and just try to absorb some of the information, but they'll never get the full picture because they're not a part of it, right? They're not in that mastermind. They're not in that inner circle. So it takes a certain mentality and a certain shift to help you eliminate that fear to make a decision to be like, you know what? I trust this person. I don't mind giving them 40, 50, 60, $70,000. The way I like to think about it is if someone walked into my office today and said, listen, Eric, uh, we'll use Amazon for example, right? Let's say someone walked into your Amazon business today, right now, right? Your operating hours, someone knocked on the door, you open the door and they say, hey, I'm looking for a position um, in your Amazon company. And you say, all right, well, well come on in. Let me, let's, let's sit, come to my office, let's chat. And uh, you ask them, what's your experience selling on the internet? And they say, oh, well, uh, you know, I do, I, op I operate my own Amazon business. I do about 60, $70 million a year. I ship about 300,000 orders a month. I manage about 50 employees. I got a 20,000 square foot warehouse. And I've been in the game for a decade, right? And you'd be like, wow, that's impressive. Like, I, I want to hire you. you. It sounds like an amazing opportunity. What, what's it going to cost me? And they say $75,000 a year. You would say, sign me up. Can you start tomorrow? You wouldn't even question it, right? But when someone delivers that same opportunity to you through a mastermind or an inner circle, you question it. But if it was an employee walking into your company, you would hire them in a heartbeat. You don't even have to think twice about it. So it's really about changing what's going on up here. You know, I've signed up over 700 people in the past two years into eSellers or I. And I always ask them at the end of the call, listen, on a scale of one to 10, one being Eric, you suck, I don't trust you, I will never join your program, and 10 being I'm ready to join right now, send me the link. I'm pumped, let's do this, right? Most people usually say they're at an eight or a nine. And so I ask them the follow-up question, what would get you to a 10, right? What's missing in those two points? What would get you from an eight to a 10? What would get you from a nine to a 10? And always the answer is this, always. It's always, it's always like I need to think about it or I'm fearful, right? It's never, it's never a question of the value. They know the value exists. It's their own hurdles they need to jump over because they're thinking about it too long. Just pull the trigger, make the investment. It's worth it, it's always worth it. What's your biggest bottleneck and how are you dealing with it? So our big, biggest bottleneck right now is space. I don't have enough space. I got 20,000 square feet. We're looking for anywhere from 50 to 60. Um, that will allow us to reach the $100 million a year mark where we're trying to reach in the next 18 months. This year, we're gonna close around 60 million. Um, and space, space is my bit of biggest bottleneck right now. And that's why I always encourage people like who are operating out of their home or their basement or storage unit, like get a warehouse. It not only will open up a ton of opportunities, it'll allow for quality control, allow you to open up more wholesale accounts because you have a space for them to deliver to. You know what well, most people, once again, fear. Fear is crippling. Fear will defeat you if you allow it to. You cannot allow it to. It will try to creep in in every aspect of your life and prevent you from succeeding in anything you try to put your efforts into. But you can't allow it to do that. See what else we got here. I got a couple minutes left before I got to jump in this inner circle call. You're all wholesale, correct? No, we are 90% wholesale, maybe 92% wholesale, eight or 10% private label. Where does one find wholesale suppliers these days? It's harder now than it was years ago. I, I disagree. I'll give you some, some game on where we find distributors. So Google's huge. Um, keyword research starting in your area, expanding nationally. Um, within those regions. So if you live in Miami, you do Miami search, right? Wholesalers, distributors, uh, manufacturers and brands in that area. And then you branch out to Florida and then you branch out to the Southeast and then you branch out nationally and you start opening, documenting that information and opening some of those accounts. I'll take it back to the beginning of this live. Trade shows, right? I'd like to ask you, Cassandra, how many trade shows have you been to? Probably zero. I would assume by your question you've been to zero, and that's not me picking on you, I promise. This is all out of love. 
right? It's all out of love. I want to see you grow. I want to see you scale, you know? So you got to be hitting up those trade shows, you know? And if you're not financially situated and you're not in a place where you can go fly to those trade shows, check out their websites and start shopping the vendor directories and reaching out to those companies until you're ready to go to those trade shows. Because what you could start doing is building that relationship or maybe placing a few orders through finding them in the vendor directory. And then when you do get to go to the trade show, whether it's ASD in February or maybe it's ASD 10 months from now in August, Right, but you already have established that relationship with them. So that's really where the opportunity of getting the best negotiated pricings comes in. And then also, you know, when you're driving around, look for trucks on the road. That's a little nugget I want to share with y'all. Most people don't think about that. They're so in their zone, listen to Audible or listen to, um, you know, music or thinking about their own problems. They're not paying attention to their surroundings. I guarantee you every single week, especially if you're in a large metropolitan area, you literally drive by probably a dozen wholesalers a week on the side of the road and you don't even realize it, you know, because your, your mind's out there. It's not focused. But now that, that you're aware of it, it will be a little more focused. You know, so what we do is we have a group chat and we tell everybody in our company. So I got... I got 48 people in my business, so I got 96 eyes on the road at all time, you know, and I let them know, hey, if you see a truck with a, with a logo on it, post in the group chat, post in the group chat. And if we open an account with that company and we end up making some money with them, I'll give you 500 bucks for posting in that group chat. So we motivate them to participate in the action. Oh, that's a good question by Caesar. Uh, when you place wholesale order online, What's the process? Do you call your sales rep first or how does that work? Um, so I'm assuming your wholesaler has like an online portal, right? Where you place the order online. So really depends on the, the wholesaler or distributor, you know? It can't hurt to send them a quick email and say, hey, this is what I would do. If I was placing, we have some, some vendors like that where you place it to an online portal, right? So let's just say this morning I placed a, a $10,000 on the online portal. Immediately after submitting that, I would just send the sales rep a quick email and say, hey, I just placed an order. Here's the order ID. It's in your system. I'd love if we could get it processed as soon as possible. Right, so you're just giving a little nudge, letting them know you just placed an order so they're aware of it. They get to dive into it and expedite the process for you. The other wholesalers and distributors we work with, it's very simple. We send them an email and you know, I send literally one sentence. Attached is a new order. Please send over final pricing and availability. Like that's it. That's all I send. And I attach the sell file in the format they want. I can't, I can't stress that enough. In the format that the supplier wants. I own a wholesale company. And when Amazon sellers, retail store buyers, whoever sends me an order, if they don't send it to me in the format that I want, it makes me very frustrated. Sometimes I won't even open the email. I won't even respond. Because it's like you had one simple direction. You put the UPC, you put the item number, you put the price, and you put the description and the quantity that you're ordering. Five columns in an Excel file. If you can't follow that basic information, then it's like the chance of you being able to grow that relationship farther are slim to none. Yeah, I, I definitely recommend selling groceries. I recommend selling in every category possible, anything you can make a couple bucks on. And for anybody new here, welcome. My name is Eric Castellano. I love providing tons of value and information to all of you to help you thrive and grow your Amazon businesses because I want you to be a part of my community. I want to help you further. I want you to go from 10K a month to 50K a month. And then I want to help you go from 50K a month to 100K a month. And then when you start crushing those 100K a month, I want you to join our inner circle so I can get you to 500K a month. You know, the guys we just visited in Canada, when we first started doing business with them, they were maybe doing $100,000 a month in sales. They joined the inner circle about 11 months ago, they're now about to get their $500,000 a month award. They literally 5x their business. Their net margins went from less than 2% to 6.8% in 11 months. Like that's life changing. The guys up in Maine were going to go visit at the beginning of November, right? I love those guys. They're hustlers. For me to get them in the inner circle, I had to jump on a phone call with his dad because he was like, I don't know if this is the move. Boom, joins the inner circle. When he joined the inner circle, he was doing a little less than a million dollars a month. Homeboy's about to break $2 million a month any day now. That's wild. That's wild. And the reason why is because we nurture them. We give them the same framework that we use. 
You know? And it's okay if you're not ready for Inner Circle. We have other programs for you, like East Sellers Rise. East Sellers Rise, where most people enter our ecosystem. There's a ton of value in it, and not only is there a ton of value in it now, but we're in the process in the early 2023 of releasing East Sellers Rise 2.0. And anybody who's in East Sellers Rise 2.0 or 1.0 will instantly get access to 2.0. You know, but if you want to join when it becomes 2.0, it's going to be at a higher price point because the knowledge has increased. As I continue to grow, obviously my prices will go up. It just makes absolute sense. And I'm doing you a disservice by not talking about it. Right? That's why I'm talking about it. I have to talk about it because if I'm not talking about it, you don't know it exists. And if you don't know it exists, you can't join it. And if you can't join it, then your business can't grow as quick as it's supposed to. So I have to talk about this stuff. I'd be doing all of you and myself a disservice by not. All right, I gotta break out of here. I'm cutting it super close. Everybody, I appreciate y'all. Love each, each and every one of you. I hope you're thriving in your day to day, not only in your business life, but also in your personal life. Don't forget family is the number one priority. Make it a priority. Set time aside to spend time with family. And if you don't have family or don't have a large family, you can build a family. I want to be part of your family, right? There's people in this life who want to be a part of your family, right? Build your own family around the community that you surround yourself with. It will change your life forever. And don't be scared to invest in masterminds, inner circles, courses. Do not be afraid. I just bought a real estate course the other day. You know, it's a thousand bucks, two thousand bucks. I don't remember, but I bought it. And this Saturday, I committed that I'm going to watch it. And by next week, I'm going to buy my first rental property. You know, I just needed the course to set up the systems of like, what type of business should I register? I already know the states I'm looking in. I already have some houses that I'm looking at, but I just needed the missing pieces. So I'm not gonna spend four or five weeks figuring out that myself, when literally this Saturday, I'm gonna figure it all out. So I appreciate all y'all. Have a beautiful night. Stay lit, my friends.